Mike Bryan, thanks for being with us on USTA.com. Boy, oh boy, was that a narrow escape to, to yeah. move through at the Australian Open. I don't know how we won that one. Uh, looking back at our past uh, nine years here, we've been in eight finals, which is unbelievable. And that's probably the one that um, stands out in our, my mind is kind of the one that we just escaped. You know, we were down 5-2. I kind of just smiled and relaxed, you know, because I, I was thinking about a flight, you know, because they're serving five, two, two mini breaks, and uh, we reeled off five in a row. I, I don't know how we did it. Um, Bob made a stab volley, which was huge, and uh, we're just happy to be in the finals. Do you guys, I mean, as long as you'll have teamed up together and, and played all these amazing Grand Slam finals, sometimes do you still shock yourselves and surprise yourselves how you win some points and how you get out of situations? Yeah, sometimes I think we have, you know, an angel on our back. Um, I don't know if it's the twin magic, playing so many years together that we, um, we fall into sync at just the right moments. But um, it's been kind of a story run um, to be in the finals eight of the last nine years here in Australia. And a lot of those have been seven, six in the thirds and down match points. Um, it's just we have like pixie dust in our pocket or something. <laughs> what are you thinking at that stage? Uh, yeah, I mean, you're thinking, you, you know, it, you could be hitting your last shots. Um, so make them good ones. You know, you, uh, you free yourself up and just go for it. You know, there's, your mind just kind of shuts off, you know, you, and uh, you, you just go for it and uh, you hope it falls. Was, it, was there any risk of, of uh, Bob thinking of the baby due any minute or, you know, take your mind off I don't know. He's uh, been pretty mentally strong with the, with the baby. I mean, uh, I guess he talked to her after the match, and um, she was watching the match and had a few contractions. And so uh, she stopped watching it, um, did some breathing, and um, she, it's, still, it's still in there. She's holding it in. And I keep daring her, you know, I'm like, you're not going to make it. And so I'm trying to fire her up to make it through the final, but it's coming any minute. You, you guys are just killing yeah. me with some of the terminology and expressions <laughs> you're talking from, from this poor lady who's yeah, on the last legs with a baby. Yeah, she is, she's huge. I mean, I've never seen a, a stomach so far out, and that's going to be a big baby. Uh, I'm hoping that we, this is going to be a dream run. If we can win the title, Bob gets on a flight back, and, you know, she gives birth right when he gets home. Um, that's what I've envisioned in my head. I've played it over a million times, and I'm hoping that works. <laughs> yeah, I spoke to, to, to Bob the other day about pending fatherhood and what he's expecting, etc. And he says because the baby's uh, going to be a girl, uh, he knows how to change diapers and nappies and all that for a yeah. girl, etc. How are you coping with pending unclehood? I'm excited. Uh, it's kind of uh, coming up quick. You know, I'm, I'm going to go to Miami with Bob. I'm going to be there in the trenches. Uh, I'll probably be in the room during the birth. So I just Videotape kinda, it? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, as we said before, he's kind of the guinea pig. I'm going to watch it all. I'm going to learn. Uh, I'm going to have the experience. And then, um, yeah, it's going to be, it's going to feel like kind of my kid, too. You know, I'm, I'm going to love that just as much as, as he loves his kid. But he's, he's a psyched up dad. I've never seen some, someone read so many books, um, have the room all painted, and everything's perfect. He, you know, he's, he's psyched for the baby to come. How how good an uncle are you going to be? How I'm gonna are, be. I'm gonna be good. Excited. I'm gonna be good, but I don't know if I'm gonna change diapers or wake <laughs> up in the middle of the night and and you know go that hard. But uh, I'm gonna definitely. Uh, I'm gonna be really uh, happy to see that baby. You know, a spoiled baby. Do you think? Yeah, yeah. We're gonna we're gonna spoil that baby. It might be a little too spoiled. It's gonna be a little. Uh, a little rich kid. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> hey, with, I mean, I know you're going to be tying the knot at the end of the yeah. year. Is it putting pressure on you? Become a dad? Uh, yeah, I mean, Catherine Wayne putting pressure yeah, on you. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I kind of, I'm ready. I'm ready to do it. You know, I, I see how much joy it's, it's bringing my parents. Um, they can't wait. Bob is, is so excited. I think it kind of puts everything in perspe into perspective. Sometimes you, you're on the road and you're taking this too seriously. And that's what it's all about, is having a family, having, a, having your own kid. And so I'm pushing my uh, fiance. I'm saying, you know, let's get married and then let's start. Let's start. You know, she's, she's as old as I am. She's 34. And, you know, when you get up there, then you're, you know, she could have twins. And I don't know if I want twins. You don't? <laughs> really? I don't know. I mean, it would be good to have Double a two, trouble. two for one. You yeah. know, just get it done with on, on one time. But as, you, as she starts creeping up in age, it, you know, it could be, she could be the Octomom. So we got we to get it done quick. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. Mark, thanks very much. All right, thanks, Greg.